Okay, so when you come into my workshop, coming through the door, we like the first thing people to see is some of the uh, exercises that they will complete during their level one and level two courses. So we've got steel trunking exercise that we've left up on the wall. We've got a steel conduit one that you've probably seen me do a video presentation off, as well as the radial socket circuit and PVC cables. So it's really good for students when they come in to think on that first couple of days they come in, by the time I complete the course, I must be able to achieve the following exercises within the workshop. So the main part of a workshop is the downstairs area where we've got the benches and vices. Students are currently working on benches and vices. We're doing steel trunking with one group and the other group's downstairs doing steel conduit. Our massive drawback here is the fact that we can't actually allocate enough bay work downstairs at level two and we actually find ourselves working upstairs and unfortunately we do look like a casino from prison break where we've got cubicles downstairs looking like mini cells and then we've got some cells upstairs, obviously more cubicles upstairs. So it's not an ideal layout but it's one that obviously we have to work with. Unfortunately, as we've moved it through the years, I've had to change the wall designs that we've had. We used to have a block and plastered wall that we used to chase in each cubicle, and then we had a brick wall on the other side. Um, unfortunately, when we came to this new building in Corby, um, we didn't have that luxury in the structure. So we had a brick and block wall that were rock hard. We've had to overboard them over the years and we've got wooden surfaces. I know people out there in the industry are gonna say, well, how many wooden walls are you gonna find in the real world? It's skills we're trying to give them. Uh, it would be lovely to be on brick and block as well. Uh, at the moment, we haven't got that luxury. You also see a student, adult student, uh, coming in his own time. He wants to get his work a little bit further up the, uh, the, the pecking order within his group, I would suggest. He's one of the perfectionists. He runs closer to the back end than the front, but after he's coming on his extra day, he'll be uh, nearer the front, I would suggest. Upstairs, we try and make it predominantly for our level three learners, so we're not up and down in the stairs, even though we have to do with our level two students, but predominantly level three learners are upstairs. So we've got our test rigs that are for live and dead testing up here. We've got two in this cubicle here, we've got a couple next door, and an assessment center next door, which students aren't allowed in, and unfortunately I can't film in there either, where we've got our moderated rigs at the end of the level three courses for domestic installer and the level three diploma.
Just a quick look at the facilities we've got here at Tresham College in Corby. I um, hope all my videos have been some assistance to you and hopefully we'll produce some more. It's all about the learner journey for me, so of course some of the videos are all about the progression that my students are making this year and in future academic years as well. We hope this video has been some help.